and hello good evening welcome back this is Billy the all-star yet again with another cigar review hope everybody's doing well had a great weekend great evening the weather is beautiful and I hope your life is beautiful as well okay what do I have for you today today I have something that's out of my comfort zone it's generally a type of cigar I don't really smoke but I heard good things about it so I figured I'd try it and I always like to try to expand your palate and do and try things differently than what you're used to or where your comfort zone is so with that saying that let me show you this it is the Perdomo Champagne 10th Anniversary Edition Churchill which is the 7x54 now the thing that caught my eye uh, a couple of people were telling me about this cigar saying how great it is it's a it's a actually a mild uh, cigar it has a Connecticut wrapper as you can see it's from Nicaragua Ecuador the binder is from and the filler is from Nicaragua it as I said is it a mild strength which is something I'm not used to I generally like something a little stronger maybe a Maduro something like that uh, a medium a full or a just just along the the full and full body line not a lot towards the mild and the mellow so this is gonna be something I'm gonna try because as I said you, you need to you need to kind of stretch yourself a little bit and um, try different things now uh, according to cigar journal they rated this as a 92 which is not bad it's not bad 92 is a very respectable rating uh, it is a Cuban Sea Nicaragua and it is also triple fermented if you know anything about triple fermented you know that a triple fermented tends to be a more of a sweeter type of yeah a more of a sweeter taste something like that uh, I thought mostly it was for Maduro's but I this is Connecticut okay I'll give it a shot and see what happens let's take it out and see what it looks like the thing I like is a as it is in a yellow cello as you can see here which gives you a, it's a little different pay attention to detail in here take a look at that pretty good look like it's a double cap nicely filled there it's a beautiful cigar some veining but that's okay Let's give it a smell. You know, very, very, very mild, very mild. It, it's a almost like a creamy, cream, a creamy smell. Let's do a cold draw on this. See what we get. Hmm. Hmm. I'm getting a coffee, but a coffee with a lot of cream in it. If that makes any sense. A lot of cream, no sugar. A little cedar. Kind of. A little sweetness on the back end <clears throat> molasses I'm getting molasses yes yes molasses on the back definitely yes 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 okay let's just light it up and see what we get as I say it's nothing I'm used to so this is a new experience for me to do a mild cigar. It's always toast on the foot. And you notice how far the flame is away from it. Probably need to turn it down a little bit. 
that's okay. Now, as I say, I always like to toast the foot. Maybe finish off, I always finish off with a match. So you don't have to do that. I prefer to do it. That's just my personal preference. Okay, let's see what we got. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm still, I'm just starting. So it still has that coffee with extra cream in it to me. And it has that, a slight cedar, but... I'm getting more of a molasses type of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's going to be, this is going to be good. It's very mild. Which is, it's not bad. It's, it's very mild. Just not used to that, but it's a good cigar. It, it's it's mild. It's got that coffee creaminess, coffee creaminess on it, with a little bit of cedar and a little molasses. Mm. This is gonna be a really mellow smoke. Tell you what, I'm gonna smoke about third of it or so and I'll come back and I'll have a uh, recommendation for something to drink with this okay don't go anywhere go grab a sandwich or something come on back okay be right back and we are back thank you thank you welcome back okay I smoked about two two and a half maybe two and a half inches of this and as you see got a really good tight ash on that it was longer but me being heavy handed I knocked it off so this is the second ash this thing screams class I mean even with the cigar band the color the taste the mouth the mouth feel the whole thing it just it's it just screams classy it's still mild it, it's kept it's a mild uh, flavor it's keeping the um, same notes with the um, coffee the the coffee with the extra cream in it the molasses kind of went away and the cedar took a second uh, seat to it so now the sweetness is on the back end of it which is which is not bad this is a really good smoke and uh, I would definitely smoke this again now the big question is what should it oh see there it is, just knocked it off I'm heavy-handed what should I um, drink with this thought long and hard figured I would go with uh, Jameson's but um, I did that already so I said no no then I thought of the uh, Evan Williams bottle and bond uh, I've had this before it's good, but for this cigar, no, I thought of something else. So I'm going to go with the uh, Bullet. Bullet Bourbon. 
And if you do check the reviews on this, it says either a whiskey or a bourbon goes great with this. But me being a whiskey and bourbon person, everything goes good with whiskey and bourbon. So I'm going to try the bullet bourbon. I think with this crisp, clean taste and this smooth coffee with cream, extra cream type of taste, they should go pretty well together. And I do have my official bullet cup. Now generally what I do is when I purchase a large bottle of something that I like, I always look for it in a gift set because it's just something I like because generally for the same price of just getting a bottle you you get uh, maybe a set of uh, glasses or uh, coasters stuff like that something that goes with it I guess it's a way of just them saying thank you for purchasing it so uh, just a hint when you go to your liquor store even though you're gonna get the big bottle see if they have a gift uh, the gift box that goes with it and maybe you get a, a glass or something. There's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to try this out. Yes, yes. See, Bullets, to me, is a, uh, a smooth... and a really nice, clean bourbon. just has that hint a little kick in the back but it's all it's smooth this being a more of a I'd say high-end cigar or mid high-end cigar with the smooth kind of mild flavor this goes great with it I like to get a little in my mouth <laughs> take a puff yes let me tell you something about cigars. Generally, you smoke them and you grab one because you've had a hard day. It relaxes you at the end. Something that you can wind down, chill, watch a movie, maybe play a video game if you're, if you're a gamer like me. And it's just to let you relax, like exhaling, taking a nice deep breath, cleansing breath. Uh, I had a person ask me once, well, I, I can't, I, I don't, how do you do with the, the flavors of a cigar? How do you know what's a coffee or cream or, I don't taste any of those things. What should I do? Well, first of all, to answer a question like that, generally, relax. Relax. Don't be under pressure to taste this or taste that. Look it up, get the information, smoke it, and see if you can taste the same things. You smoke cigars long enough, you get an acquired taste of what tastes like molasses or sugar or, or cedar or wood or earth or something like that. Because of where the um, tobacco was grown, number one, how it was processed, how many times it's, it's been fermented, has a lot to do with that. Now, I may say this is a coffee with extra cream. You may say it's just cream. You may say it's cocoa. You may say it's an espresso. It's okay. You're not wrong because it's your individual taste. So don't be too upset if you can't, when you first start now, that you can't taste anything. As you smoke and you use different tobaccos and different processes and different cigars, it'll come to you. Don't worry about it. It's about relaxation and enjoyment. 
that's what it's about. You don't smoke a cigar because you're in a hurry. This is something you do at the beginning of the day, sometimes at the end of the day. Sometimes you get up in the middle of the night, you just want to chill. Watch a movie. You know, call up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your significant other. But it's all about relaxation and enjoyment. That's what cigars are for. They're not they're they're stress relievers, they're cheaper than therapy. And you can enjoy them by yourself. You can hang out with friends and smoke. You can watch a movie. You can do all those things. You can connect with other people who have the same interests as you. Sometimes a good cigar is a deal maker. Or deal breaker. Or a way to talk to a person that you have something in common with. That's what it's about. And there are people who spend their lives putting together certain flavors and tobaccos and doing certain processes so you can enjoy this. This is someone's hard work, years of work, years of dedication. So treat it with respect that it deserves. And with that, I'm going to sign off right now. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this video. And please, as usual, karate chop that subscribe and kung fu that notification bell so you can get alerted the next time I make a video. And with that, that puffs for you, for my subscribers, and the people that are watching this. This is for you. I drink to your health, I drink to your well-being, and I pray that 2021 was a lot better than 2020 for everyone that's watching this. So I'm going to sign off. This is Billy the All-Star saying, as always, if you cannot be nice, at least be cool. And I will see you later. Thank you.